Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about Scooby-Doo, which is madness. Why have I not talked about Scooby-Doo yet already? I completely should have done. So if anybody has requested it, my apologies if I said yes I'd do it and then didn't. I just genuinely thought I had. Scooby-Doo, when I was younger, was one of my favourite TV shows, which is weird. Because if you described it to me, if you said, you know, Amy, it's an animation detective show where a dog and his, his friends go and look for criminals and villains and monsters, I would have been like... But all right, that sounds a bit bonkers and not really my kind of thing. But it is absolutely sensational. And maybe I only like it nowadays because of the whole nostalgia thing. But I do think the concept is very unique. You know, it all focuses around the mystery machine and Fred and Daphne and Velma and Shaggy and Scooby. And they all have to split up and go in their different directions and find the, the monster or the villain. And obviously it never really is a monster, it's always just a human being. Which I think is a good thing as well. I mean, I think I'm, maybe one or two times it has been an actual monster, like a creature of the deep. But generally, it's somebody dressed up. Which I think is a really great thing. So I'm encouraging kids to get on board with the fact that monsters, in that sense, don't really exist. You know, you shouldn't be scared of things under your bed. If there's a monster under your bed, it's probably, you know, a pedophile or something. <laughs> That's, I guess the moral there is kind of rocky. They're not going to be thinking of that. But it is to train them that, you know... Monsters don't exist. They're not to be scared of. They're just people playing practical jokes. Do not worry. I love that concept. It also trains your brain as well and allows you to piece together what's going on and for you to, as an audience member to try and work out who the criminal is, who the culprit is and what on earth is going on, which is obviously a really great thing. Because there are too many children's TV shows which are what I call kids' sitcoms because, you know, sitcoms generally... You don't have to think much, you just have to laugh. That's generally the idea with sitcoms. Whereas your detective dramas and your um, period dramas and things, you need to be a little bit more alert. And Scooby-Doo is definitely obviously your children's detective show. It's great fun. I think because you have quite interesting characters in there as well, it, it, it gives them a more gives them more they can relate to and more they can have fun with. Are any of them normal? I don't think any of them are, you know. Um, one of them's really vain, really sort of vanity driven. Um, the other one's kind of geeky and the one I could relate to, um, Velma. Fred, I guess Fred is probably the only normal one there and that's saying something because he's not that normal. And then you have Shaggy and Scooby who is the, sort of the double trouble and oh, I love them so much. And of course we have little Scrappy-Doo who makes an appearance every now and then. Um, Scrappy is brilliant. He's kind of like the, 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 sc the scampy of Sooty. Um, now this has been on the go since 1969, um, I believe it was the Hannibal Barbera show, I think it probably still is, don't quote me on that, I should have checked that, but uh, to my knowledge it's Hannibal Barbera, or Warner Brothers, or both, not sure, scrap that conversation, but it has been on the go for about 43 years now, if my maths is correct, it's probably not, and I just cannot believe that it is still going like it's really rare for a children's tv show that's been on the go since the well, late 60s early 70s to still appeal to the same audience i mean i can't name any other show that is doing just as well now as it did 40 years ago i mean there probably is one or two but i can't name them off the top of my head but it is because it's so unique the format is fantastic now if you let the kids of nowadays watch the original Scooby-Doo episodes. They may not be as scary. They may not be as interesting. I'm not a child. I can't. I can't um, judge that in that sense. Um, but I do really, really like it. I think for me, I still get excited whenever I see merchandise. I never really jumped on board with the whole merchandise thing. I know my neighbour had um, the Mystery Machine, and she had a lot of the toys and the figures. I think my cousins had the Stretch Scooby. But personally, I can't remember, at least, owning any Scooby-Doo merchandise. But I do remember eating Scooby-Doo food. You know, Scooby-Doo pasta shapes and the Scooby-Doo snack boxes and probably Scooby-Doo freeze pops. Oh my goodness. I, if it was Scooby-Doo and it wasn't a toy for some weird reason, I wanted it. But I never got on board with the whole Scooby-Doo lunch boxes or things. I was more of a, a Lion King person in that sense. I don't know. But I do really love it. And whenever I see something now in a shop, and it's, I know um, some of the toy shops and things, because, you know, I make a habit of going into toy shops, sell um, murder. I was being sarcastic, but I'm not even too sure if I'm allowed to be sarcastic, because I do. Um, the Murder Mystery Machine, you, they still sell that with the figures, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously, the franchise isn't as big now. You know, there aren't... To my knowledge, Scooby-Doo lunch boxes and things. But saying that, it used to be Woolworths, Woolworths that used to sell those and, you know, Woolworths ceases to exist. But it is still massive. In fact, it's so massive that it's girlified itself. I'm sure Argos were at one point over the last couple of years selling pink 
Scooby-Doo bed covers and things, which I think ruins it, because, you know, you need the traditional green and blue and, I think, possibly yellow colours in there to make it Scooby-Doo. But I like how they're sort of making appeal directly to each gender, and I do love it so much. Just Scooby-Doo as a package, as a TV series, the movies, which I'm not overly fond of, but I do appreciate their existence. The merchandising, just the franchise as a whole is just beautiful. And rarely will I like a TV show that has become such a big franchise. You know, normally I'm kind of like, they've overdone it. But with Scooby-Doo, I just think it works fantastically well. And I cannot fault it in any way. I just love it so much. Please feel free to leave as many comments as you like about Scooby-Doo. Let me know if you have any favourite episodes. Personally, I don't. I know I dislike the circus ones. There may have been one or two circus ones, but there's one in particular that I disliked. Favourite episodes? Not overly bothered. Like, I haven't really got a favourite one. I think there was one particular where they were on a tram and they were tracing different trams. I really liked that one. But as a whole, no, I don't have a favourite one. Even the revamped series, is, series, is, revamped series I am... Um, I still enjoy those, which again, is quite rare for me to really enjoy a series that's been revamped from my childhood. You know, for example, the new Naughty is diabolical. It's insane. But this, I think, works. It's just great. Let me know your thoughts, and I will see you all next time. Bye!